Okay, so I've started screen sharing and recording, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, and I'll just keep an eye out for the waiting room if anyone else happens to join in. Okay, so welcome to my first webmaster training. I'm so glad everyone here could make it. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So here are some of the objectives that we're going to go through today. So first I'm going to introduce myself. Second, I'm kind of going to run through like webmaster responsibilities and duties and stuff like that. Um, third, I'm going to introduce website criteria. And there are a few things that I've added to it just to make like the criteria more coherent with um, Key Club. Uh, fourth, I'm going to be looking through websites. So two brave webmasters sent me their websites so we can look through them. Um, and I can just kind of in, or show you guys what I'm looking for and what they did really well. Um, and fifth, I'm going to talk about the social media contest that I helped create. So let's just go and get started. So first I'm going to introduce myself. So hi everybody, I'm your 2020 to 2021 Texas Oklahoma Key Club technology producer. I'm a senior at Garland High School and I've been in Key Club since my freshman year. Um, so I'll just kind of briefly touch on the positions that I've held. So in ninth grade, I was the freshman rep. In 10th grade, I was the secretary of hours. In 11th grade, I was VP, but that was short-lived as I was appointed as lieutenant governor. And then in 12th grade, I was L LTG until I was appointed as tech producer. So I've been able to go up like from club positions to di divisional positions to district positions. So if you guys have any questions about that, you can at least can feel free to ask me or Vivian because she's kind of gone through the same thing. So yeah. Oh, that should not be here. Okay. Um, so second, I want to talk about webmaster stuff. Okay. So basically your responsibilities include just doing everything on like on the online level. So um, promoting your club's activities through an online presence. So you have to create a club website um, as your position implies. Uh, you have to maintain accurate and up-to-date information on your club's websites. So make sure you kind of have this calendar function going on, telling your members um, when the next meeting is, when um, some service projects occur, stuff like that. Um, sharing your club's activities on social media. Help recruit members by sharing your club story. Uh, through online outlets and engage with members through web-based outlets. So basically just keep your club presence on social media and on your website. It's basically just making um, kind of like a hub of resources uh, for your members to look through. Okay, so some other responsibilities that don't necessarily or tie into your name as much. I guess it's kind of based on um, how each club functions is to create graphics or flyers to promote club functions. So you could like collaborate with your editor to do this, um, managing the club email account. So if you uh, have a club, you should probably make a separate Gmail account for it so that you can keep everything organized, like sending in um, monthly reports can be used uh, with that email, sending in monthly newsletters can be used um, with that email, just so everything stays in one place. Uh, create meeting presentations. So if your president or vice president doesn't already do this and they kind of want someone to assist them with creating presentations, uh, you guys can definitely like put a hand in and help them out. Uh, so these are some websites that I found that have um, themes for your slides. So you don't have to have like a really basic one. You can have a really fun one that doesn't require much work. You just need to input uh, the text and stuff like that. So these are some of those websites. And then assisting other officers with technology, technology shortcuts. So um, next Saturday, actually, I'll be having a joint secretary and webmaster training with District Secretary Vivian Tai. Um, uh, she will be showing like the, the secretaries how to create like a sign-in sheet uh, for meetings and um, so that will just kind of take attendance for the secretaries 
And then I'll also be introducing like how to create a self-functioning hours form and spreadsheet. So just like a self-sufficient one that will tabulate hours as soon as the, the member um, fills out the hours form. So I was, I want like you guys as webmasters to invite your secretaries and you guys can like do this together with one another that may like help you guys um, form a bond and you guys can be able to help each other out because um, creating the spreadsheet does take a while. Okay, so next slide. So this is a quote that I found from the Key Club International uh, webmaster like guide. So um, Julian Filippi says that the website should be designed to help people who miss meetings. Therefore, you can't miss the meetings yourself. Keep in touch with the president and secretary. So your job basically requires um, a lot of work with other officers because you need to know what to put on the website. And many of the things that you put on the website come from other officers. So like putting your newsletter on the website requires communication with um, your editor. Um, putting meetings on the website requires communication with the president and kind of like putting hours and attendance sheets on the website um, involves your secretary. So just make sure that um, you're being active in your club and you're um, maintaining communication with other officers. Okay, so let's take a look at the club webmaster officer guide. Okay, so this is the guide that you can find on the Key Club International website. Um, it kind of introduces you to what your official duties are. And this, it includes this really awesome checklist that you guys can um, use to keep yourself accountable. So weekly, try to follow events up with posts, update calendar on the website, plan week social media posts, post or follow up on posts or outreach that need attention and post agendas and minutes to the website. Each month you should uh, review da data slash analytics about posts, adjust social media and website posts based on the data, review nearby clubs social media posts for other ideas and publish monthly blog on website. So I don't know if you guys have a blog, but maybe this can involve the newsletter. Annually, create a schedule of posts, um, create a list of all usernames and passwords. So keeping this list is so important because um, that way you can kind of maintain like the same thing, I guess the same login and passwords and share it to all of your officers so that no one gets confused about it. Um, update the list of officers, uh, renew the website service if needed, assist tr training the webmaster elect, and update any resources provided on your club's websites. So basically just um, keeping everything updated is crucial to your position. Um, these are a little bit more about the um, webmaster position that I'm not going to get into too much. You guys can go ahead and read it yourself, um, but it's just kind of like telling you um, what type of person you should be in your position and how to properly execute it. Okay, so let's just keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the website. Okay, so there are different types of programs that you can use to create your website, and I know a lot of people use um, these web-based ones because they're pretty easy to put together. So like using Google Sites, um, Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress. Um, they're free, they offer many options for website design, and you don't need to know that much coding um, in order to create it. So some of the cons uh, include like, they, they don't give you a domain name, so you don't have like a .com or .org or anything like that. There's sometimes company branding. So for Wix, um, if you're using like the free uh, version of Wix, they have like a banner at the top that says create a new website with Wix. Okay, just need to admit. And then they sometimes have advertisements and restrictive features. So you can't always um, have access to these premium features. Let me check the chat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep going. And then these are other programs that you can use if you have more coding knowledge, like Dreamweaver and FrontPage. Um, you have more control and more creative freedom to create your website. 
but they do require coding knowledge and they might cost money. Okay, so on the, con the code of contest and awards, you can find the distinguished website award criteria. And that's kind of what I want you all to use to create your website. So now let's just go there. Um, so it's in article two, section 15, but I'm just gonna use the control F feature to find distinguished website. Okay, so section 15, you need to um, create in a creative, of an informative and functional club website. So you have to submit it to the district board, um, actually email it to me by December 15th. So we're gonna change this to say um, December 15th. Um, and all you have to do is email me the link. Uh, you just need to email techproducer at tokeyclub.com with the link. And I'll post like an updated version of this on the website and share it to you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep going on because I'm just gonna just tell you guys what the criteria is. Okay, so I think this is kind of obvious, but make sure there's not any illegal material or offensive, um, inappropriate material on your website. And these 10 items are things that you must have on your website. So you have to have your school name. So um, I guess say like Garland High School Key Club or Garland Key Club would work. You have to have your division number. And I also changed this to include region number as well. You have to include the Key Club International logo, contact information for the division's Key Club Lieutenant Governor unless the office is vacant, an updated calendar with listed upcoming Key Club events, an informational page listing what Key Club is and does. So you can find all of this information for criteria six on the Key Club um, International website. You can just copy and paste kind of what Key Club is about. Um, sponsoring Kiwanis Club contact information, uh, link to the district website and to the Key Club International website, and a listing of officers complete with name, position, graduation year, and email address. So if you're using the website from last year, make sure that you, have, you update all of this um, for the new officers. And you need to update your website at least monthly. So after you submit it, I will be going through it each month and seeing if you've like made any changes to it. So you wanna keep it updated so I can give you guys the most points. Okay. And yeah, this is the rubric. Um, it, I think it is subject to change. I, also incorporated the use of the brand guide, the Key Club International brand guide on the website. So um, that will be um, one of the new criteria. Um, we haven't, like the contest and awards committee and I haven't worked through all the details yet, but I'll keep you guys informed about that. Yeah, okay, so let's get back and look at, if there's any questions. Nope, okay. Yes, so some new additions to this contest is that you need to email my new um, email address, which is techproducer at tokeyclub.com. So make sure you email it there, not to techassistant at tokeyclub.com. Um, the deadline has been extended, so it will be on December 15th at 11.59 p.m. And use of the brand guide. So. Um, make sure that you know how to access the Key Club International Brand Guide um, and use like at least one or two of those colors in your website. Okay, so now we're going to judge websites. So I'm going to look at the North Garland Key Club one first. And Issa did a really good job with this. I really like the way that she structured the first page. Um, it's really cute. Um, Creating tabs like this on the upper right corner is also really cool. Um, it's easier for you to access stuff or easier for members to access stuff. Uh, so you can look at membership and then here there's hours, calendar, and newsletters. So you know exactly where to go. Like the members know exactly where to go to find certain information. And that's the most important part of a website, I think. Just being able to locate all the resources. 
And then the board, you have officer info and Kiwanis representatives, which is part of the criteria, so perfect. Um, upcoming events and past events and contact us. And she also included uh, a page about Key Club, which you need, and the logo. So this website is really on point. Um, it, it, it's really user friendly and you can navigate it really easily. So yeah, I think that's kind of what you guys should aim for when I'm creating your website or editing it. So now I'm going to look at Lake Ridge, and this is Noah's website, and he wasn't able to join us today, but he did do a really good job. So the tabs are really cool here. There's even a gallery for pictures. Um, I really like this joiner remind here. Putting something on the home page emphasizes its importance, so um, when members just scroll down, they can see that, oh, okay, I need to join the remind. So very good. Um, I like how they updated it too, to say like next meeting, even though this date has passed, I think he'll update it, update it soon for the next web, um, the next meeting. Um, there's a club newsletter here, uh, the logo, click the logo for more information. In Texas, Oklahoma district, follow us on social media. So yeah, I think this is really good. There's an about us, contact information, volunteer events, calendar and hours. Um, yeah, I think for both of these, uh, they're kind of lacking in Key Club brand guide colors, but that's probably because I didn't introduce uh, this part of the criteria yet. So um, I think with just changing up the colors a little bit, these will be really, really good websites. So as tech producer, my job is to help you guys. So if you guys send me your website on GroupMe or if you email me them, I can give you guys feedback on it, like tell you what's changed, what you did really well, um, so that you guys can maximize the amount of points that you get for the contest. Uh, yeah. And now for the social media contest. So I created um, a list of criteria for this new award, but it hasn't been 100% confirmed yet. And it, since it's subject to change, um, what I am telling you now is just kind of like the foundation of the award. There might be more things added to it or even removed from it. So um, just keep in mind that some of this is may or may not actually be a part of the award. I think it, I think it will be though, so don't worry. Okay, so, did, so the description. So it's intended to recognize clubs with active, creative, informative, and functional club Instagram accounts. Um, the entry requirements are really similar to the website entry requirement. So you submit your Instagram handle to me um, by emailing it to me by December 15th. So in this case, December 15th, 2020. Um, if you're a new chartered club, and you want to be considered for the distinguished Instagram, you may submit your handle within 30 days of your charter. And no submissions will be accepted past March 15th. And I guess try, try your best not to submit it late because um, points will be deducted. Okay. <clears throat> Successfully submitting the club Instagram will effectively enter the club for this competition. So the rules, um, I guess they're kind of the same as the website, but they are a little different. So um, just make sure there's not any illegal material or offensive, inappropriate uh, graphics. Um, there is a list of things that you have to do for your Instagram, kind of similar to the criteria on the website. So you um, your Instagram handle has to include your club name. So you can do um, like, for example, North Garland High School, you can do NGHS Key Club or NG Key Club, um, or you can include your first, like your, your school name if you, uh, if you want. So like Garland Key Club or Garland HS Key Club, stuff like that is okay. Just make sure that you're, you're including your school name in it and you're including Key Club. Okay, um, your school name or Key Club name is the name of the Instagram, so you need to be like, for my school at least, Garland Key Club or Garland High School Key Club, not um, Garland High School 
So yeah. And you should include, uh, you shouldn't abbreviate your name. Um, there might be more GHSs or NGHSs in the district. So try to like, um, not make your name an acronym or an abbreviation. Uh, you need to include your region number and division number in your bio and the link to the club website in the bio. Um, if you don't have a club website, please mention that to me uh, in like your email um, with the Instagram handle. But I think as webmaster, your, your responsibility is to make a club website. So that probably should be okay. Um, date, time, and location of the next general meeting in the bio. Um, you can say like, um, next general meeting, um, August 30th at 10 a.m. on Zoom. Like, that will work. Okay. Um, you have to create a profile picture that includes the school name and key club. So you could use the key club logo if you wanted to. Um, that would work. Um, you just need to put your school name and key club over it. And then for the 8th, ninth and tenth criteria you have to be following the district Instagram which is TO Key Club, um, the international Key Club Instagram which is at Key Club Int, and then uh, the district Instagram which is Kento Enos uh, and we'll be checking for those. Okay so this is kind of like the bulk of what you guys need to do each month. So you need to produce two reels videos. So this can include like one of your key club officers doing a reels, kind of like introducing themselves, maybe um, doing a dance and kind of like telling uh, the clubs like who they are, what their position is, and kind of what their responsibilities are. It can also include like a recap of a meeting. So you can kind of just do like a montage of your meeting or something or something like that. So just kind of make it, uh, like be creative with it. It's, as long as you have two like nice ones, I think that should be okay. Um, you need to post three Instagram posts. So one of these has to be a graphic advertising an upcoming general meeting. Um, you should have like the date, time, and location of the meeting. And if it's online, try your best to include like uh, the code, so like a Zoom code and the password if you have a password. Um, just try to be as specific as possible. Um, other Instagram posts that you can use can be uh, of like members at meetings, at volunteer events, stuff like that. Um, you have to have one picture, so like not not like a graphic, if that makes sense. So you need to have like a photo on there. Um, it can be of members at meetings, volunteer events, birthdays, etc. You may also post pictures of your board members. And pictures can be incorporated into graphics. So you can post um, like a graphic with a picture in it saying like, happy birthday, president. Does that make sense? Okay. And then the third picture, you can do anything you want with it. You can post another picture, you can post another graphic, um, you can post like a recap of the month, whatever you want. Okay. And you need to have a story highlight for each month of the year. So starting like next month, you can do September 2020. Um, there must be at least five story posts in each story highlight by the end of the month. So you can have um, story posts about upcoming volunteer events, pictures from club events and functions, reminders of um, meetings. I don't know why this indent is here. Recent posts from at TO Key Club, at Key Club Int, or at um, Kento Enos Instagrams, etc. So just you can repost stuff on there just to keep your members updated. Okay. Club Instagrams must have at least one post um, on the Instagram containing the names of all the officers in addition to their contact information, graduation year, and respective positions for the, key, the school year. And each graphic must contain a headshot of the respective officer. So what I mean here by clubs may group all officer graphics under one singular Instagram post is that if you have like eight officers, for instance, you can use the feature of Instagram where you just like press down on the post and then select multiple pictures and post that as one and that will count. Um, 
If pictures are posted, so just pictures themselves, you didn't create it into a graphic, you have to include this stuff in the description box. So if I just have like a picture of my face on it, then I would have to say like my name, graduation year, position, and contact information in the description box or in the caption. Um, you will you will receive a score deduction of five points if these posts are not on the club Instagram by December 31st. So since you're sending it to me by December 15th, make sure that you have all of this information on it before the end of the year. Um, the club Instagram must be educational and promotional at the club level, and it has to be developed and maintained by a key club member. So this doesn't have to be fully the webmaster's responsibility. You can divvy it up between like the editor and the historian, if you have a historian in yourself. So you can do like editors can create the graphics. Um, historians can like give you the pictures and then um, you can like post it, something like that. Like it doesn't have to be fully your responsibility. You have to update your Instagram at least monthly uh, and it has, Evidence must exist that you're showing an update. So um, I guess I would strive to post something like every week if you could. So um, like posting one story and one post week one of the month and then like a Reels video and um, story post like the second week. I guess I, I would just try to um, space out the posts and not just like clump them all on one day like at the end of the month just so your members don't feel overwhelmed and then this is the uh, scoring criteria so you guys can look through this later um they're pretty spaced out you guys can see like what exactly i'm looking for here um yeah so that's basically everything here um uh if you have an average of 80 points, you'll, re you'll receive distinguished Instagram honors, and then top three scoring clubs will receive special recognition. So basically what this means is you just need to garner at least 80 of these points um, each month, like hold that average, and you'll get the distinguished Instagram award. Um, yeah, I'll be grading these every month and giving you guys a new grade each month based on like, the consistency of your posts and like what they can, um, what the content is like. So um, judging it on creativity, formatting, um, and style. And then I'll average that closer to LED con season um, to figure out who the top three are and figure out whose websites, like which club's website, or which club's Instagram, sorry, um, gets distinguished Instagram honors. Okay, so keeping members engaged online. So hosting online meetings, socials, and service project events. Um, if you have less than 100 people in your club, you can use Zoom or Google Meets to kind of like meet up like this. Um, if you have more than 100 people, which applies to like some of the clubs in Texas, Oklahoma, you can use like the live feature. So Instagram Live, YouTube Live, um, and or Facebook Live. And then for social media, there's a variety of social media that you can use to promote your club. So like I said, the Instagram, um, you can use Twitter or TikTok um, and keeping your website updated, I think kind of counts as social media as well, if you're advertising something. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think I did speed through this uh, training really, really quickly. So if you guys have any questions, please ask them. Um, I feel like I might have not touched on something really well. So, okay. Um, anyways, let me look at the questions if we have any real quick. Okay, will you be sharing the slideshow with us? Yes, I will. After the meeting ends, I'll share the slideshow and I'll also be publishing the video, like the recording to um, YouTube. So you can go back and watch it. If you go back and rewatch it, if you need to. Do we need to restart our Instagram for the year? No, you do not. You can continue it from um, the previous year. Um, just make sure you include updated information. So like updated information of the officers because last year's officers won't count. Okay, 
So the joint secretary and webmaster training will take place next Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. And it might like last a little bit longer than this because it does take some time to set up. Um, and people who are new to using Google Sheets and Google Forms might have a little bit of trouble trying to navigate through it. So we'll be there to help you guys out. Um, webmaster bonding, it'll be next next Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. And I hope at the or I hope y'all can make it to the webmaster bonding because I feel like I'll be able to talk to you guys better and learn more about y'all um, and maybe talk about like your the offices that you're trying to reach because maybe I can help you guys out with that um, and help you guys like, get higher up positions in the district. Okay. Okay, when the brand guide when the brand guidelines are implemented, are things like custom logos and stuff not allowed anymore? No, um, you can create your own logos and stuff like that. Um, that would be fine. I was just meaning to say like, try to include the brand guide colors if you can. Um, if you can include like the fonts on there, like Century Gothic for instance, that would be great. But if you don't, you can like opt for some Canva alternatives which is under editor resources. So you can find um, fonts that are similar to the actual brand guide fonts that are free to use. Yeah. Okay. So your to-do list is to read through the Distinguished Website Award criteria and make sure you're implementing those on your website. Um, if you haven't already made a website, make one. Um, coordinate with the secretary for hours and attendance spreadsheets. Um, coordinate with uh, the president if you need like presentations on there, a meeting code, stuff like that. Um, uh, collaborate with the historian if you need, um, if you want to include like a photo gallery. Where can we find the criteria again? Okay, so the Distinguished Website Award criteria can be found on um, the tokeyclub.com website. Uh, under the code of contests and awards. So um, you can find that there under like, uh, I think it's district bylaws and codes under the resources tab. But since there are gonna be um, additions made to it, I'm going to um, talk to the contest and awards committee and create like a separate document with the distinguished website award criteria and then send out send that out to you guys. And then for the distinguished Instagram, it hasn't yet been, uh, I guess, like approved. Um, so it's not yet on the code of contest and awards, but I do have the list of criteria and I will send those out to you guys via group me and remind. And I'm also going to make a, a webmaster resources tab under the resources like tab. Um, so you guys have like this organized place of where you can find this information. Okay, um, gather information from fellow officers. So you, on the website, you need to include like the officer name, position, graduation year, and pictures. So make sure you're talking to your officers and getting that information on your website. Um, create a Gmail account specifically for your club if it doesn't already have one. Like I said earlier, just creating um, a, one um, email account for your club makes it really easy for you and like the president to keep track of everything going on within your club. So like, like I said earlier, um, sending in monthly reports, monthly newsletters, um, sending in like the distinguished Instagram or sending in your Instagram handle or website for the distinguished awards. Um, it's all in one place. Okay, start an Instagram. So if you don't already have one, um, create one. I don't think it's very hard to set up. Um, I would probably talk to your president about it first and see if he or she will approve it. Uh, and include the Distinguished Instagram Award criteria on there. So make sure you have like an appropriate Instagram handle. You include all the information. Um, that's required in the bio, um, linking to websites, stuff like that. So I would try, try and get started on that and see if there are any other officers that are willing to help you out with it.
Okay, are there any more questions? And feel free to ask any questions because I might have like not touched on it really well. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, and we can go back if you guys need anything. So please feel free to ask because if you guys have a question, then you guys might, or other webmasters might have the same question. Based on the brand guidelines, how many of the colors should we include in our website? So I would say, um, hmm. I guess I would say at least two if you could. Um, if you're restricted on the amount of colors that you can use, just make sure to tell me that um, when you're submitting your website. Um, but I would try to aim for like two to three colors if you could. Yes. Um, well, I think that's all the questions. Uh, I'll still wait here and see if anyone else has any questions or just wants to chat. Um, but this is my email, techproducer at tokclub.com. So you can um, contact me, email me uh, with any questions you, that you guys have or if you want me to give you guys feedback on your website or Instagram. Um, just email me or text me. Um, this is my phone number. Uh, and then you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'll give you a follow back. So my at is Alina Langdam at, uh, yeah, this Instagram handle. And I will be posting this on uh, our YouTube account and sending that link to you guys. Um, and I'll send out this presentation. Is there an app where you can create get graphics? So I think Canva is an app that you can download that's free. You can use that to create graphics if you want. Um, there are templates on there for Instagram posts, so you can use those, um, or you can create your own if you're feeling really creative. Um, I think it's better to use like your desktop or computer or laptop or something to create graphics. It's a lot more user friendly if you kind of like have a keyboard and mouse pad to work with. So try canva.com. I'm gonna go back on the Instagram, distinguished Instagram, because I feel like I might not have included brand guide on here, but it should also be on here. Hmm. Yeah, so if you're using Canva, it should be really easy to incorporate brand guide colors on here. So I'm gonna adjust my creativity um, bring it down to 15 and include brand guide on here for another five points. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and then send it out to you guys. Um, but I also want to show you guys where to find, um, like, the brand guide and uh, the Canva edition of the brand guide. So for the brand guide, I'm just going to... So go on Google and search up Key Club National Brand Guide. And you can find it right here. And it just shows you um, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. It has the logos on here. Um, these are like the fonts that are on the brand guide, but most of these aren't free of use, like on Canva, if you search up any of these, they don't pop up. So there are alternatives, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, and these are like the brand guide colors. So on Canva, there's a feature where you can uh, copy and paste and insert these hex codes in there, and it'll automatically come up with the color that you can use. So use these hex codes if you need them. Um, and yeah, you can adjust the transparency and that will work okay because I know some of these colors are really kind of 
harsh. So you can adjust the transparency to make it the colors a little bit more muted or pastel, and that will work out just fine. Um, now I'm going to go find the Canva edition. So here it says TO Key Club, um, Key Club Brand Guide Cheat Sheet Canva edition. So Vivian Tai, who's currently our district secretary, was the district editor last year and she created this. Um, so you can look on here. You can still see, find all of the hex code colors. Um, and you can find the different font alternatives. So in Canva, not all the key club fonts are available, but these are similar alternatives. The actual font is in gray and the alternatives are in different colors. So um, it's hard to find like these fonts, Myriad Pro, Century Gothic, Verdana, um, Garamond, um, Godi, and Abril Display Italic um, on like Canva or on like other website creating platforms. So you can use these alternatives, um, Arimo, uh, glacial indifference, didact gothic, stuff like that. So these should be free. Like some of these alternatives are free on like Canva um, and website platforms. So try to use the fonts as well if you can. Okay. Well, I think that's basically all that I have. So if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask them. Um, I love questions. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and stop the meeting or stop recording um, and stay on if you guys have any more questions, but you guys are free to leave at this point if you don't have any more questions.